Okay. Okay, so if you remember back to the last video, uh, you will remember that I screwed up big time. Um, uh, by not having it selected as a title match for the Wolfgang Joe Coffee match. Um, I know how to deal with that. And, you know, obviously I'm showing it as a... Uh, I have to put on the pre-show match to do the title change, but I, I found it a way to justify that. Uh, I, I guess <laughs> but uh, yeah so here you can see uh, we had our pay-per-view our first pay-per-view of this series uh, which was of course Shug's Hoose Party 3 uh, well um, no pay-per-view revenue and that is because I chose to show on Pivot Share because it had the wide range and w what I feel to remember was that Pivot Share is a subscription based service rather than their pay-per-view based service so yeah uh, I'm gonna have to use Fight TV for now on uh, that was an oversight on my part uh, unfortunately and yeah uh, hopefully our production changes will take this here down next month so yeah we'll be in a better place financially next month hopefully but uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's make sure that we're yep so let's go ahead and run the show. Yes. So here we see uh, what what this is. This is a obviously a match between Joe Coffey and Wolfgang to pass on the title to Wolfgang. And how I'm justifying this in the pre-show is that and and how we didn't show it, you know obviously in the uh, in, in the last video is that this is actually a replay of that match for the crowd in attendance to see because it was such a spectacular match that we decided to show it to the crowd to get them hot and uh, we, you know we, we, we show them the Wolfgang title win and that is how I'm justifying it and if anybody had a problem with that well then go and watch a different video but <laughs> uh, in all seriousness there uh, I, I thought that was a pretty decent way to justify it. But uh, let's start the show now. Uh, probably as we see, Fight Bill go up against Sammy Jane. Thought I'd give Fight Bell win here. Um, she has an MM performance of 38. Sammy Jane has an MM performance of 32. So you can see why uh, I'm hesitant to use a lot of female talent in ICW. Let's go to our next segment. Uh, that was only 34 with it, by the way. Uh, our next segment we see Mark Dallas come out as he is uh, and, and he, he puts on some promo which uh, gives him a 24 rated uh, a 24 rated segment uh, and, he, and he comes out and you know he's talking about how great uh, the match was that he got uh, you know the match at the pay-per-view that uh, his team was able to get him back his uh, get him back 50% of shares in the company and uh, you know he, and he's saying that uh, Kenny Williams will get a match against Norm Dar at our next uh, our next event which is yet to be uh, yet to be announced and uh, he was talking about how he's going to get this chance at the COG championship and uh, then of course Red Lightning comes out by the way, that was him hinting at his heel turn again, and uh, Red Lightning comes out hinting at his face turn. And uh, another per segment, by the way, uh, for the six. And he comes out and he's like, you know what, uh, yes, uh, you know, does Kenny Williams deserve a chance at the COG Championship? He does, yes, but we, we still have a champion, a former champion that is old a rematch. And uh, as as a fair person, which he's just all of a sudden starting to become fair, apparently. <laughs> uh, he as as a fair manager and a fair owner of this company, I uh, I am willing to give uh, Kenny Williams his shot. Both Lionheart and Kenny Williams has matches tonight. If they can both win their matches, then next week. At Friday Night Fight Club, they will go one on one for a number one contendership match uh, to go up against Noam Dar. 
and uh, you know Mark Dallas agrees to this so yeah uh, we, yeah no yeah okay so the local fire then go up against new age click and uh what happens here in this match is that uh joe henry picks up the pinfall in uh, just after 12 minutes i decided to put in the new age click there just because i thought why not give them a match um and what actually happens here is that uh we see uh we we see uh, that Davy Boy has very little to do in this match. You know, he uh, keeps on being hit by uh, quite big moves uh, from you know Renfrew and BT Gun. You know, being power bomb stuff like that. And uh, as a result, he just can't compete. And uh, Joe Hendry ends up doing everything himself. He ends up. Uh, you know, actually winning the match himself after hitting a uh, STO against uh, Chris Renfrew and uh, gets the pinfall. Uh, you know, when uh, Joe Hendry gets a 43 in ring performance, BT Gun gets an in ring performance of uh, 52 and a 53 for Chris Renfrew and only a 32 for Davy Boy, unfortunately. But it was a 48 rate match overall, which isn't particularly great for the it isn't particularly good, but it isn't particularly awful either, so um, that advances that story there. And then we see a segment where Joe Hendry is pretty much once again bashing Davy Boy for his poor performance and uh, very little contribution to the match as well. Uh, then that moves us into an interview with Kenny Williams, and you know, he's asked, you know. Now your match against uh, Kids Fight has much more of a uh, meaning to it now that you may get a chance at the uh, CLG Championship and Kenny Williams says, you know, I always go into every uh, match wanting to, or at least along the lines of this, you know, I'm not a promo guy. <laughs> I always go into, uh, you know, these matches, you know, I'm, I always want to win, but uh, now was a bigger reason for me to want to pick up that victory. That was a 47 minute uh, segment. I know that wasn't a great uh, promo, but you know, I'm not a promo guy. <laughs> Kenny Williams goes up against Kid Fight in a 30 minute match, very, very poor match indeed. Kenny Williams defeats Kid Fight in 10 minutes uh, by pinfall. And uh, Kenny Williams has an in-ring performance of 37, whereas Kid Fight has an in-ring performance of 34. It's, uh, it's a bit too long of a match, I think, is the main problem there. Let's go into a dirt sheet. All that and a negative crowd reaction, apparently, um, on poor psychology, which is a shame. Next segment. We see in our main event and Big Demo goes up against Lionheart and Lionheart pulls through a shock victory as he is able to defeat Big Demo in 15 minutes 19 seconds after hitting him with a frog splash. 52 in mm performance for Big Demo and a 31 for Lionheart. That is going to be an awful match next week. Dutchy. Jesus man, that is going to be a per match. It's going to a pre book and now and book that for next week. Ah well, you know. Run by mistakes, I suppose. Lion heart. Kenny Williams. That's a shame. Let's go ahead and end the show there. 36 for it, I think, overall. And, you know, it wasn't an awful... You know, we didn't lose popularity in all regions, uh, only in one. But uh, we actually increased our popularity in 29, which is annoying for me to say that that was a success, technically. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'd rather get up the quality of a... Uh, 
I'd, I'd rather increase our popularity in Scotland rather than decrease it to be honest. Okay, so we have signed uh, Stu Bennett, uh, we've put him as a main offender, and I decided that I wouldn't sign Cody Rhodes in the end. Um, I just don't think we need to spend that money. Now, um, the rules uh, for them, Davy Richards is injured for two months, so that should bring us to this, what, October? So hopefully they'll make up for fair and loathing, and I've decided that I'm going to keep them. Uh, in the company, uh, I decided to keep them in the company uh, after, despite being injured. But yeah, we're slowly, slowly uh, chipping away at this minus and increasing our balance, which is good. Um, what else? Okay, so we need to go into the roster here and we need to go to filter. We're in the process of signing a road agent as well. I think it's Thomas Chamberlain because we've been using Sack Saber Jr. for the last few uh, shows. Also, talking about a road agent, uh, oh, sorry, talking about Sack Saber Jr., he's injured only for three days though, so he'll be back soon. Uh, let's go. What was I want to go with? Oh yes, uh, we want to go with... I'm shattered man, I'm shattered. Let's go with referees. Is that all? We only have those two referees? I thought we had more than that for some reason. Might as well keep them. Uh, Okay, uh, we need to get rid of some people because money uh, is a huge issue for us. And it's just Sean David. Uh, he is one of our commentators who was the William Grange. Now, I wasn't going to do this, but I need to do this, I guess. I'm not going to use him, so why have him there? I'm not using a free man setup, I refuse to use free man setups in the commentary booth. Come on, Chris Renfrew, Chris Ridgeway, um, I'm not going to use you. Davy Boy, Davy Richards, David Campbell Thompson. Uh, you're in a tag team for us, aren't you? If you're not, then I'm getting rid of you. Simple as that. So you're going to want to be in a tag team. Nope, you're not. So who was that? David Campbell Thompson. Let's get rid of him. Dickie Divers. See you, mate. 800 for an opener. 800. Uh... Drew, by the way, Eddie Edwards, Grado. You're not in a tag team, sure you're not. If you're in a tag team, you're STEM. And don't get me wrong, we will be employing more people to uh, to go into a tag team division, but I'm not paying you know four hundred and fifty pound a month for him who isn't going to do anything in the company. Jack Gallagher. I like the guy, but I'm not going to use him. I really hope this isn't costing any money. Um, we need to change your gimmick. Uh, you could do a gimmick change, unfortunately, but. You're fierce, so let's go for fierce gimmick guys. Screwed gimmicks that don't suit this worker.
There's nothing there that would really see that I see him do. That, that I think that he would fit in this rig, I guess. Okay, let's go for that. Maybe a fitness freak. Um, Bill Coffee, Joe Henry, Johnny Moss, you're not in a tag team. Not paying £600 a month for you. There's Gervain. See you, mate. You're gonna make, you have to make your name somewhere else. Liam Thompson. Uh, Make your name somewhere else, mate. I urge you to reconsider. You know what, mate? Like, no, I'm. I don't care about you. You like this is a business. You know, I'd love to keep him. I I do like Massimo, but I'm sorry, mate. You're gonna have to go. 188 per week is a downside agreement for somebody that I'm not going to use. Nathan Cruz, that's money that I'd rather not use. Mondale, the Titans, again. Sean David, Sebastian, again. I'm not going to use you, mate. Now, I realise that a lot of these decisions may be unpopular, but I mean. I don't really see myself using a lot of these people. I don't even see myself using Shah Samuels, to be honest. I have nothing planned for him in the near future. Quite frankly, I... he's a good wrestler, though, isn't he? Basics is 84. Charisma is decent. What's your psychology? 66. That's pretty decent. Considering. What Davy Boys is thirty nine. I'll keep them on the books for now. Stevie Boy definitely staying. The Wee Man. Uh, Thomas. Tom Irvine. Again, he's somebody that isn't going to be used. Trent Seven. I don't see myself using Trent Seven that much, but I think he's in a tag team for us anyway, so. Am I ever going to use Wild Boar in the next four months? No. Go make your name somewhere else and then maybe we'll bring you back. Zach Gibson. I'm not going to use you, mate. Okay, we have 33 active workers, uh, active wrestlers now. That is been taken down a lot um, from 50 so I'm happy enough with that for now Molly Skrill um, this, you know, he is fantastic if you know anything about wrestling it's probably that he is one of the best uh, heels in the world right now despite being a face in this game uh, but you know he plays that character so so well um, and um, right enough. We could turn him here at some point, uh, but yeah, you know, he's one of the best in the world um at what he does. Um he, he you know, in my opinion he is a top talent, but I don't have anything for him now. I'm gonna keep on the books and I'll give him a match here and there. But uh there's nothing really for me to give him right now. Um, but here, you know, who knows this, you know, come the next side of Fian Loven, which is when everything really gets reset for me. Uh, well, not really reset, but continues on and we can build new feuds. Um, Molly Squirrel may very well be uh, a huge part of that. But, uh, yeah, we're 19 minutes in. And uh, I don't think that you guys really want to be watching this very much longer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, catch you again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the uh, 
just the overall support, you know. I uh, I appreciate it. See you guys.